Hello guys, it's me Kingston here. Today I will solve your biggest problem in FIFA 22. Passing. How do you pass properly in FIFA 22? Why don't your passes connect properly? Why do you make bad passes? All these problems will be solved in today's video. So let's get started. Make sure to write this stuff down so you don't forget. Boys, first we will talk about rule of passing then we will go into the gameplay footage okay the first rule of passing is to always pass in the direction you are facing if you are facing straight pass straight if you are facing left pass left please in fifa 22 this has been emphasized if i am facing downwards and if i try to pass upwards even like that this pass will be intercepted because when you are building up playing out from the back opponents are pressing you if you look at this pass like these passes they are not very effective especially these kind of passes which i see so many people making remember if i want to pass to tony cruz i will do a ball roll face him then pass if you start facing the players you are passing your passing will improve don't make left right passes always try to make straight passes while facing those players all right this is the rule of passing which we need to no, now let's get into the gameplay footage. Boys, we will be focusing on the ground pass and the through pass. Ground pass is done by X and through pass is done by triangle. Wow, everyone knows that. That's why we will not be focusing on the controls or something. Uh, we will be focusing on the technical things. What is the technical thing? The rule of passing. The rule of passing is to always face the direction you are passing into. So let's roll it back. Why am I doing a double ball roll with Zuma over here? I do a double ball roll. So I face the direction I'm passing into. Most of you would literally just press X in the direction you want to pass to and you will panic lose the ball. Do not panic. Always try to do these little ball rolls. In order to do a ball roll, you can see on the screen, you hold the right stick either to the towards the right or left of your player and he does a ball roll. It's a very effective skill and you should use it in your build-up play. We do a ball roll, now we face, it, we face him straight. You will see how many passes I make. Another ball roll. Ball roll, you see, step over, 95 to 98% of the times I am facing straight. Another, left stick dribble, ball roll, why? In order to face him. Now look, the opponent cannot get the ball back from me. I am doing all these little movements, little scoop turns, little ball rolls, little left stick touches in order to avoid the defenders. And what is the end product? I am able to score a beautiful passing goal. I even made Tiki Taka custom tactic tutorials which you can watch on the channel also over here i use a player lock i will make a de dedicated tutorial on player lock it's a big part and parcel of passing but today we are focusing on the technical side of the passing not the mechanical side which no one tells you the technical side it is the rules of passing and what should be going through your mind now look we do the we do the player lock in order to face our opponent look look at this pass okay this is not a very effective pass if this guy was in front of this guy, he would have easily intercepted it, even if he was just closer. But I did it because he was so free. Now look, I would literally face Mbappe, face him, face him, face on, bang, goal. And now in this scenario, most of you will play this through ball directly. The yellow arrow depicts what most of you will do. You will play this through ball directly. What it will do is it's more likely to get intercepted. De Maria is not the best of the passers, boys. Remember, in FIFA 22, EA has introduced distrust interceptions due to which our passes are getting intercepted more often, especially with the players who do not possess higher passing attributes like Messi, uh, Xavi and so on. So therefore, most of you would play this pass because in FIFA 21, this would absolutely work like a charm. But that's not the case. We need to pass in triangulars. The second rule is to pass in triangles. Always try to pass in triangles. I saw less triangle or full triangle but always try to pass in triangles first we make this pass inside then we go to ben yedder you will see the result it's absolutely fantastic why did i why did my mind work in that way okay king sunny pass it inside first because i know the rule of passing is to always pass in the direction you are facing i always try to do skill moves in order to face the player i want to pass to i always try to do left stick dribbles in order to face the player i want to pass to I always do the skill moves inside the box in order to face the post I want to shoot into. These are the technical sides of FIFA which will make you a better FIFA player. Not only the controls. Remember, FIFA is more of a mental game. So you need to know all these things and apply these technicalities in order to become a better FIFA player, boys. I will make dedicated tutorial on driven pass overpowered it is. Player lock overpowered it is. But today you need to learn these technicalities and 
watch this tutorial a couple of times and you will see your passing will improve so much and remember to keep your pass assisted uh, log to late whatever that setting is it has early and late make sure it's late yeah boys that is it from me for now i'll see you soon with another amazing tutorial unique tutorial make sure to subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell until next time it's me king sunny out see you thank you for your support